I love it, yes. What a lot of romance there was attached to Iranian restaurants, uh, the cafes. I mean, right from the ambiance of the restaurants, which is so unique, you know. Slightly dark, because all their furniture used to be dark, even though they used to have uh, those checked tablecloths uh, um, on the tables. The so Iranian chairs, they come to be known as Iranian chairs. They're not really bent put, you know, real bent cane chairs. Uh, Scandinavian, actually. Those were very, very uh, mm -hmm. popular, famous. And a lot of homes then went and acquired them for their personal collection. The marble top tables, the frescoes, or you had a little vase on the table. Uh, but very, very simple. There was none of this five-star culture in that. There were these stupid signs all over the place, you know, no sharing tea. I, I wish I could reproduce them. I'm sure you got some of them on camera. On the top it says, sorry, this is no talking to cashier, no smoking, no fighting, no credit, no outside food, no sitting down, no talking loud, no spitting, no bargaining, no water to outsiders, no change, no telephone, no matchsticks, <laughs> no discussing gambling. No newspaper, no combing, no beef, no leg on chair, no hard liquor allowed, no address inquiry. And then finally across in handwriting says no cheating. So sweet, I mean these are the sweet little touches of a restaurant that, that, that it really makes them what they are. I think it was written about in a newspaper in England. We read about it there, we said it was a good place to come. How do you know about this place? Uh, I read an article in Time magazine about it and uh, it was about Parsi restaurants in Bombay and this was one of the two restaurants that it recommended to come to. So. I have half an hour but I said okay, let's, let's be make a visit. <laughs> but I've come all the way from Lower Parel only to come to Mikhail. Now we live in Delhi. Every time we're in Bombay we have to come to We have to be a Mumbai club. I mean, I need the institution. I love them. I, 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 I'm a diehard Iranian. Okay. Yeah. We were just discussing, I think Bombay and Pune are the only places in India, right. or maybe in the whole world, where the Irani restaurants, the Irani set up their typical Irani cafes, right. and uh, not many of yeah. them left anymore. Closing down, so we made sure we made the trip before that. Presently, the government has legalized sale of pagri premises. So they say that they can make a lot of money by say, selling the place. So, so, so they say if they sell, they will get more money than what we are making business now. And I am 87 years old now, so they tell me to retire. We were in fact discussing that. I said even the public should turn to them and tell them that we want you back. We, I mean, it's really disappointing that uh, they'll be closing down. There is an Americanization in every uh, aspect of life. And an Irani cafe is despairing. I think symptomatic of what is happening in Bombay, unfortunately, because I think we are losing the kind of old city that was part of this great big city. That time Bombay was nice Bombay, sweet Bombay, very nice Bombay. Irani culture is associated with so much of the progress, the developments, the the, uh, the integrity of the people, the talent of the people. And all that is dying out. So it's, it's a tremendous personal heartbreak for many of us who are now seeing or have seen the disappearance of the Irani cafe. Well, everything changes, and it's, I think it's a really bad idea that uh, the Irani cafes are going away. So that's wrong. It's very, very wrong. And the building walls and skyscrapers and all. I'm from the old school. I really, really prefer the old, you know, the architecture and what do we do. I think most of the Irani cafes are located in places that have uh, real estate is a lot more expensive and I guess that may be a consideration but you know it's like losing a part of your heritage and that's what's terrible. The younger generation do not want to continue with this business because all these five stars and seven stars come up so there is no profit margin so that is why these places have either been in dispute, Bastani is in dispute and Kiani is just about you know just fighting for survival basically. But now the children are educated, they don't want to do this business, he says, we have, we have studied, we are educated, now we, we won't work for 14 and 16 hours. They, it is, they find it 
is below their dignity to run a restaurant. And it is very laborious also. It is very sad nonetheless that they are closing down. They should not have been allowed to do that. Maybe foodies of the world should unite and help to um, give them a chance to carry on. Um, no, it's sad. It suddenly occurred to me that part of my life had gone. You know, the thing is that for us, memories will live on. But I guess it's this whole generation now is just going to miss out. So there'll be no impact, impact, because we are so thick skinned, we just move forward in life. But yes, it will be a huge compromise on your sentimentality, on your nostalgia, on... See, they have been there from the British Raj times. I mean, you know, people used to go into them and they were horse-drawn carriages and all that. So, of course, there will be one more fall in, in, the, in the huge area of nostalgia. It would be like losing a little bit of romance in your life. I'd, I'd, I'd hate to say it. You know, Bombay is such a unique city. We should not allow its character to go. It will be a sad day for Bombay, I think. You know, it's like tearing down the Prince of Wales Museum to me, in my mind. I think the place would probably need a fresh coat of paint, but that wouldn't change anything about it. Yeah. It's, it's perfect. Where will we have lunch? Look out for these small little places because who knows they might shut down permanently. It's one of the landmarks of this city and I always make sure that I recommend this place to all my friends who come into the city, you know, uh, to visit. Yeah, we would definitely recommend it for anyone coming to Bombay to come to this restaurant. This is the best eating establishment in Mumbai. Yeah. No yeah. question. You just go there straight. If I had time, I would have accompanied you. Okay? I guess it's time for me to sign off. Talking about all this scrumptious food has made me hungry. So I think I'll stop by a cafe on my way home for a cup of chai and bun muska. Hopefully I'll see you there. This is Grace, signing out. Cheers, Mumbai.